But when we when we talk about limitations of awake liposuction, that's literally the the, the same concept is that at some point the liposuction procedure is going to be too big for us to be able to use the local medications available to us. We're just going to run out of room. You know, basically the, the procedure requires more than that and the patient's just not going to be comfortable. So the biggest danger to me of doing awake liposuction for somebody who's committing to awake liposuction and wants a very extensive result is that we're not going to be able to finish the surgery because they may get uncomfortable or we may run out of the amount of medication we can give the patient to keep them comfortable. That's actually kind of the biggest obstacle for me. Some patients do come in and ask for a lot of liposuction and they ask, can we do it awake? And if you ask for a lot of liposuction, obviously we use numbing medication in the tumescent and the fluid that we inject under the skin in order to do the liposuction. And there's a maximum dose mm. that's calculated based on their weight. And we can't go past that because we use lidocaine. Lidocaine is the numbing medication. But if you look at what lidocaine does, it's actually a medicine used in cardiothoracic surgery and in heart medicine to slow down the rate of the heart. So if we overdose a patient on lidocaine, the ultimate side effect is we it's a heart blocker. Your heartbeat slows down and eventually stops. So obviously... We have to be very careful how much lidocaine we use, and we can't overdose patients on that. So if the patient's still uncomfortable and we ran out of lidocaine, the patient can get no more, then we're basically done with the procedure, whether, I, whether or not I finished or not. 